Now let's talk about producing and editing our videos. This is pretty straightforward, but if you're new to video editing, this might be a little bit hard. What you need to do first of all is that you need to find a good video editor. There are many free ones online and there's many you can pay for. For example, you can use Adobe Premiere Pro, you can use Camtasia, and you can search and learn about their free trials. Otherwise, you also have Filmora, you have, I think, Cyberpower was one. On top of that, there are just many. And Panzoid also has their own video editor as well. So taking the time to actually learn these video editors by yourself is a very good idea. But for demonstration purposes only, we're going to use a very, very basic video editor that has barely any features, but mostly just to demonstrate how easy it is to put intros and outros and how easy it is to edit videos in general. Before I go on to talking about browser-based video editors, such as Screencastify and Panzoid, I'm first going to talk about what do you do or how should you organize your videos if you're working at home on the computer and not online. Now, what I recommend is that you make a folder, name it after your video. After that, put your project file inside and then create two folders. The first folder will be called materials. Second folder will be called project file. Inside project file, you need to put your video editing software's file inside there and a project file. After that, what you're going to do is that you put all your materials in here for video editing. So I'll quickly do that and then I'll cut back to showing all the materials that I have. Here are my materials. I'm going to paste them in here. So this is, um, and make sure to always name your files, that way you know what's, uh, what each file is. So this is my intro, this is my outro, and this is Earth Zoom in, Earth Zoom Out. I'm only using these two because they're royalty free and also because of the fact that I'm making a sample video, this isn't an actual video. This is Premiere Pro, you don't have to use Premiere Pro, you can use any video editor. I'm only using this as an example. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to just demonstrate what a good video editor should have. In your video editor or any video editor, you should be able to put have a timeline. A timeline is where you have your videos and you're able to cut, select and split videos, such as what I'm doing here. I'm able to select, cut and move around my videos in the timeline without any problems. You should also be able to edit your audio, your video, and that's what you want a good video editor to have. However, if you're only going to do very light edits, or you just want to do small changes, so I'll leave this, then you want to be using a browser editor, or, here's the thing, I don't recommend using browser editors, but sometimes we do have to use them. So here's a very, very simple browser editor that some students are using. People can upload their videos onto here and connect their clips. So I'll quickly just upload the videos. The, sorry, I'll upload my materials and start working from there. So videos, video guides, from there we go, producing and editing your videos, materials, intro, outro, and my two clips. So we'll start with our intro. Cool. Now this is our intro at the start. Next, we want our outro. Sorry, we want our video actually. So you have your video, you have your two clips putting being put together. After that, what I recommend you to do is then put your outro. So when it comes to any video on YouTube, it's recommended put your intro first, then your actual video, and then your outro. And always make sure to go through the video yourself. If you don't have time, that's fine. But if you have time and you're trying to make sure that your video is good, go through the video. If you find anything that you can change or edit, then stop there, select your clip, cut or crop the clip accordingly. There are many other features in many other editors as well and this and Screencastify only has certain features that you can use. If you have any personal information that you'd like to hide you can also blur it as well which is recommended with Screencastify because all you're going to be doing is recording your screen for school and making presentations. So try and use the blur feature as well. Other than that just have your outro over here and you should be fine. So intro, video, outro. You can cut out any bad parts. How do you cut? Well, in Screencast, you're just gonna cut by clicking Control B or just clicking that. And then you can delete whatever's in between. So I can delete that. And if I play this.
and yeah, that's it. After you're done and you're happy with your clip, just click export, export as mp4, or you can export it to Google Drive. This will be example project. And we're done. That's how you're going to produce and edit your videos. This is really basic and this is designed mostly just so you get a good understanding of how production and editing works. Otherwise, if you have any questions, just ask your instructor or something.